everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. Our chart of the day is the US dollar versus the Swiss franc. There appears to be a quite an interesting uh, formation from a technical perspective when we look at the dollar Swiss and the um, dollar index. If we look at the dollar, dollar index, you can see that we have over here what appears to be um, a double uh, a, a double bottom and we've just seen price break above the, the highs of yesterday, suggesting that we could potentially see a move back to that 93.41 on the dollar index. When we, do, when we compare, contrast that to the, compare that to the dollar Swiss, we also have something uh, similar in, in that respect where we've seen price break above yesterday's high and move slightly higher. Obviously, we do have the downward sloping um, nine period exponential moving average potentially acting as dynamic dynamic resistance on the dollar Swiss and this and almost uh, um, acting as resistance for the uh, dollar index as well. When we look at the dollar Swiss from the weekly time frame, what's interesting to know is that um, we've been in this sort of downward sloping channel for quite some time. And uh, although there is still some room to the downside, we do have support coming in at uh, 0 0.9064 and 0 0.9011. And, and, and as we've seen over the last few days, we've seen price actually retest that 9064 level and then bounce higher. My expectation uh, for today as well is that if this level does hold, uh, we could see the dollar, the dollar Swiss move higher and as well see the dollar index uh, move higher as well. Do note that um, at 2.30 p.m. we do have the U.S. non-farm payrolls for the period of July with the forecast being at uh, 1.6 million versus the previous figure of 4.8 million. So there's a significant difference in that respect. So if we do get better than expected numbers for the US, we could actually see dollar strength come in later on this afternoon, which will see the dollar, the dollar Swiss um, move higher. We are aware that there are um, that the unemployment in the U.S. Is, has gone up to about 31.3 million. So there are worrying signs on that front. But a positive data coming out today with regards to the non-farm payrolls, uh, the unemployment rate, and the employment change all scheduled at 2:30 could potentially see the the dollar move higher, and that will obviously add pressure to the other currencies such as the dollar Swiss, the euro dollar, and the pound as well. And we could and we could potentially see perhaps some bit of hesitation on the commodity assets as well, such as um, gold as well as the Aussie dollar. So uh, for today, I'm going to be looking at placing a long on the dollar Swiss. With the expectation of seeing it at least test perhaps today due, uh, as a result of the volatility from these uh, economic announcements or perhaps into next week see it reach the 9180 level which is about uh, uh, 35 uh, 55 pips from current price so let me make the necessary adjustments um, for this particular trade So based on our risk parameters, we can risk 1.36 lots. Uh, we can trade 1.36 lots on this particular pair. So I'm just going to trigger that in. And as you can see, we're now currently long the dollar Swiss with the expectation of seeing it move higher. With regards to what has transpired on the account from yesterday, we were looking at shorting opportunities on the euro dollar. As you can see, the euro dollar has basically um, stayed and remained fairly flat um, from yesterday. We haven't seen that much movement, but the 118.77 seems to be acting as a, as a level of resistance at the moment. So with the data that we're expecting uh, this afternoon, any positive data should potentially see the euro uh, move lower as well. So keeping an eye on the euro and keeping an eye on the dollar Swiss, where the expectation is dollar strength, we'll see the, um, we'll see the dollar move up in value and potentially add downward pressure on the other currencies and um, asset classes as a result. This will essentially bring us to the end of today's chart of the day. Good luck and good trading.